All right, folks, here we go, and what a miraculous run it has been for this 135-pound woman. She fought for the belt back in the day, didn't get the title, everybody left her for dead. Look at her now. She never believed that she was done. She knew that she would get back, even if everyone around her told her it would be very difficult. She put her head down, she went to work, and she's back now. And she feels like because of that journey, the ups and the downs, the, the, the torment, that she had to go through being de depressed, not being the champion. All that has built her to be the person that can take the belt tonight. A lot of valuable lessons learned. She's never looked better on the scale. Perhaps that will be an indicator of things to come tonight. Amanda Nunes under the lights. Grace is the proving ground this time. She wants to leave with the belt. So here's the longtime UFC veteran, Chinese star Yan Xiaonan. And it's interesting to hear her talk about walking into that UFC PI in Shanghai because there is so much love in her nation for Zhang Wei Li that Yan Xiaonan is okay accepting the heel role. She is okay being on the other side of that equation as long as she gets the title fight. And her body of work suggests to you that she is already deserving. Back-to-back -back wins over Mackenzie Dern and Jessica Andrade have entrenched her in the top five. And many believe, pound for pound, skill for skill, already, Yan Xiaonan is one of the very best strawweights in the world. have graced the octagon and that means we are ready to go with live action from the Scotiabank Arena here in Toronto where some of the best fans in all of MMA have come out to see our fights here tonight. All right, now let's get to the tail of the tape for this women's bantamweight championship fight. Now for the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Bantamweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. Presenting the challenger, Amanda the Lioness Nunes. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion of the World. Herb Dean, third man in the octagon tonight. So here's Amanda Nunes back for more. She can mix it up with any bantamweight weight in the world, but believes she has some striking advantages in this particular matchup here tonight that she can take advantage of. Let's see if Nunes follows up on those fight week words and puts them into action tonight. All right, so Amanda Nunes getting off here again as usual. Really as well-rounded a fighter as we have in the men's or the women's game here in 2020. Yeah, regardless of gender, right? Regardless of gender, Amanda Nunes stands amongst the best in pound for pound in the entire UFC. Big shots being landed on both sides here. What a nasty kick. That was thrown with ill intent. Nice. Nicely done. Try to establish that jab. Wow. Hands high, hands high. Oh, big left hook there. Lands the left hand again. Spinning back fist is there. 
under three minutes now to go in the round. Gets the single leg takedown. Oh, nice. Yes, smart adjustment, yep. Elbow by Nunes. She's stepping over the ball here. Landing strikes nicely here from top position. Ground strikes really adding up for her now. All right, nice transition into full guard. If you're the top fighter, where do you go from here? Try to posture up, get some big ground and pound off, which will lead to you passing the half guard. In the half guard. Well, she's got the head trapped here. Might be trying to set up a guillotine choke. That guillotine is tight. It looks like she's gonna finish this fight by guillotine. She's got her down. Now she's gotta lock her guard and start to feed the hips as she pulls her way back to get her to submit. Holding the position, still might be able to get a submission here. Oh, how good is that as she gets out? She is so aware on the ground and she escapes a deep submission attempt. Oh, this is some high-level, efficient, effective ground and pound by Nunes. DC, I know you got my back. She's got her back, and she can do a lot of damage from here. I've got your back as I'm your boy, J.A. She's got her back as if she wants to end her night right now. She's got to be very careful. Final seconds of the round. Four shots for the end of round one. All right, let's look back at some of the action in that round, DC. At times, it looked as though she was literally trying to punch her face through the floor. Yeah, she was trying to punch her face through the floor. That's what she does, though. I mean, that is her calling card. That is what she's known for. The moment she gets down, it is just vicious ground and pound from the top position. She is a master of posturing. She is a master of control. And the moment she gets an opportunity, she really does brutalize you. All right, let's get to round two. Punch over the top. Leg kick lands. I've never seen anything like this, J.A. How in the world are these two women still standing? Nice punch to the head. Over and over, same story. Punch after punch to the head. Big double leg, level change. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Oh, big elbow. Once again, looking for that highlight reel KO with that front kick. Well, A for effort, but the kickboxer once again fails on that takedown attempt. I've got to imagine you're a little bit surprised at her approach to I'm, I'm surprised by it. I mean, I didn't expect her to come out here and try to get takedown. Oh, fire right over the top. Her opponent in a world of trouble now. Her opponent in a world of trouble. She landed that punch in the exact spot that she needed to. Shots going on right here. Oh. Relax, relax. Another one. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one gets checked, you have the Anderson Silva situation. Well, she has certainly picked up the pace here in round two and starting to find herself in the pocket a little bit. She was a little bit hesitant in round one. No hesitancy whatsoever here in round two. She has clearly found her rhythm and range. Oh, nice right hand by the champ, yeah. 90 seconds to go in round two. Wow, what a head kick. Oh! Nice job by the defensive fighter. Well, she's got a good jab, missed with it there. Oh, nice. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. 
Zhao Nan's in half guard now. Side control now. Mm, that was nice. Just gotta be careful here. 20 seconds to go round two. into full guard here, DC. Where does she go from here? She needs to be passing. Right away passing. Trying to pass to get good grounded. Oh. Oh. Grounded and pounded. There's the horn. Round over. And it couldn't have come any sooner for that fighter on bottom. She was defending as best she could, but you thought maybe the referee was going to step in there. Instead, she goes back to the stool. She will survive to see another round. All right, there's the horn. Let us now check out some of the action from that round, DC. What a display of striking. Yeah, John, she did a great job. I mean, she knew exactly what she needed to do, and she mixed everything up beautifully, right? Every punch landed to a kick. Whenever her opponent thought kicks, she would follow up with punches. It was a master class in striking over the course of that round. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Round three of a possible five. Can you believe she is able to oh, is that a huge strike right there, DC? Great shot landed. Now she's got to go chase her down and get another one off to finish the fight. Oh, my goodness. Oh, right hand landed. There you go. Real quick leg kick. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. <laughs> Telegraph that spinning back fist. Three, four, five, oh, nice jab up top by Nunes. A commitment to excellence. She finally gets this fight to the ground after many failed attempts. She was not discouraged. Now she has this fight exactly where she wants it. Yan Xiaonan's cheek looks like it's cut. Yes, it is. Starting to bleed a little bit now. Under three minutes now to go in round three. Oh, nice change up on the tempo there as the hook in the clinch lands by Xiaonan. Now lands a solid punch there. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. And she separates from her opponent. Wow, is she applying a lot of pressure here. I'm not sure how much her opponent can take. Clear sense of urgency here as she tries to make sure the judges stay out of it. Oh, that right hand barely missed there. Nunes gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. And that one certainly found the target. All right, so some adversity for her here. Looks like she has been opened up around that eye. Anything worth having would not be easy, but she's got to protect that cut because it will get worse if she continues to get hit on it. Oh, nice job. What a strike by her there. I'd be knocked out. Her opponent still stands. She's still standing. She's got to get on the bike now. She's got to get out to the safety octagon, find some space so that she can evade her opponent from finishing her. Swing and a miss by Nunes. Yan Xiaonan's eye is closing up. Oh, nice right hand, John. Able to block that one. Takedown defense holds up. to the championship rounds. All right, so the round is over, but not before damage was done. Cut on the cheek, sustained in that round. Cut man in there quickly as usual to try to seal it up. Well, her eye is really in trouble now, and you know the opposition's gonna continue to target it. We'll see what they can do with these 60 seconds. There's nothing better than seeing the damage on your opponent's face. And if she couldn't defend before, she's gonna have to be real good on the defensive side this time, because now her opponent would be even more aggressive seeing the damage on her face. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. Fourth round 
is now on the way as we get to the championship rounds. What is a fighter's mindset when you get to this 16th minute of a fight? This is when you understand that nothing is ever going to be harder. This is the hardest round in fighting. This is going to really test your will and your desire to become champion. All right, let's go. Let's go. Nice one, two there. Beautiful jab there by the champ. Just out of the range with that right hand. Well, this is one of the more active rounds we have seen all night long. Both of these women have realized success with the striking, and both seem damaged. It's always fun when you get a fight like this, where you see the blood on both sides, where you see the swelling on both sides, where you see the concern from both fighters recognizing, that, wow, I've got my equal in front of me. Let's see who can push through and get the victory. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. Using a lot of good movement. Big right hook there by the champ. Oh, this is where you don't want to be, though. Posture's up now and lands the vicious head strike. Well, she's so confident in her defense and her ability to block shots, and, and now you see what? You see all the way. Look at the inside leg kick. She drops her opponent now. Could be the beginning of the end, champ. She hurt her very badly with that big leg kick. Oh, with authority, the body. Oh, hard ground strike there, and that one opened up a cut. Strikes there, very efficient, very effective. Constantly a moving target. And now she's in mode. She is so dominant from the top position. Oh, she's got head movement even off of her back. Huh? Nice slip there. She's being proactive. She's not sitting and waiting until her opponent throws. She's moving in advance, and it's allowing her to evade these strikes. So she backs up here and lets her opponent stand up. And she did not miss. Saved by the bell. That marks the end of the round, and we'll see if she can recover from getting stunned by that huge shot just before the horn. Of course, you know she's only got 60 seconds here with which to recover. They'll get her on the stool. Physically, she's compromised. Mentally, can they keep her in this fight? All right, so a lot of strike absorption by her in that previous round. She got stunned on the feet, but survives to see another round. Talk us through the replay, man. You look at the action here. They're going back and forth, and boom! There goes that big strike that lands that really does hurt her opponent. She could not find the follow-up shot, Ready but eventually fight? she will Ready. find that moment. We have arrived at this fifth and final round. Oh, nice shot to the body, connects for her there. Somewhat surprising, we didn't see a lot of body work from her earlier in the fight, but she is getting after it now. Xiao Nan strike attempt there is blocked. Oh, huge shot by her there, probably her best strike of the fight. Her best strike, and you don't see this type of power normally in this weight class, but she lands, and she lands very effectively. Watch knees to the body. I mean, she's fighting a fantastic fight. Let's go. Let's go. Oh! 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 going for the body, targeting that area with the kick, but unable to land. Oh, man, she eats another calf kick there. She's as tough as anybody, but I'm not sure toughness is going to be enough. Toughness won't be enough tonight. She's in front of a, a fighter that's better, someone that's better prepared, was more ready to attack a game. Oh! oh, she is in real trouble. Oh, big knee. Well, a 
That sounds obvious, but she clearly needs a knockout or a TKO or a submission, or she's going to be on the wrong end of the scorecard. Oh. Oh. Visibly limping here. Big shot to the head. Under two minutes now to go in the fight. Now a takedown attempt. It is not there, and not a come behind. Oh, she lands the sidekick, DC. Beautiful technique there. She really is good at managing space with that technique. I think about Michelle Watterson, who also does it a lot in her fights. Oh, now she lands a kick to the body. Great job fighting behind the limb. Throws the teeth. Great job getting to her position, right into that single collar punch. Oh, beautiful technique on that straight punch. Well, she was knocked down by her opponent earlier in the round, but not knocked out, and yet mentally, it seems like she's checked out. It seems like she's checked out. She has to get herself back going. Take a moment. Maybe push her opponent up against the side of the ox, time to take a breath, and then get back to work. Where she is, she's in the octagon. She can't possibly know where she is right now after taking such a massive head kick. Well, stand and cheer, ladies and gentlemen. In all likelihood, we have a new UFC champion, and she got it done with her striking tonight. All hail the new queen of the UFC. She used her striking, her beautiful footwork, in order to confuse the champ. The champ looked lost all night trying to chase down this beautiful challenger. No more challenger will be attached to her name. She's the new champ. The official decision is in. Bruce Buffer has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 49-46. 50-45 and 50-45. For the winner, by unanimous decision, and new undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world, Amanda, Lioness of the Ring, Nunez. All right, well, one thing we can always say about Amanda Nunes, she's not going to force the finish. You can harken back to the Felicia Spencer fight that you could argue she won 50 to 40 with 5 10 eights. Amanda Nunes in dominant fashion, your winner by decision tonight. Dominant decision, as we usually get with Amanda Nunes. Not many people, not many women can compete with her over the course of a long fight. Right. And once again, she proved that.